Here he said, you also like living stone are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Okay? So again, you also are living stone to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Okay, spiritual sacrifices. Uh, if you are aware in uh, Romans, uh, this spiritual sacrifice is talking about soul. Okay, winning soul as a uh, sacrifice to God and to Jesus Christ. Okay, there is uh, sacrifices, offering sacrifices, uh, spiritual sacrifices is uh, winning souls for, for the Lord. Uh, and, uh, alright, so we are here. Okay, just read to you in uh, Romans, and this was just came in. Uh, Romans chapter 15. Eh? Okay, he says that uh, the priesthood eh, is winning soul. Okay, winning souls. Eh? Anyway, okay, let's look at this. Uh, so, Jerusalem, say from Jerusalem in verse uh, X. Uh, Romans 15, uh, 19 uh, By the power of the signs and miracles to the power of the Spirit and so from Jerusalem and all the way to Ericum, uh, Ericum I fully proclaim the Gospel of Jesus Christ It has always been my vision to preach the Gospel where Christ was not known so that I will not be building on someone foundations Alright, and uh, there's one page He said, For the Gentile has shared the Jewish preacher blessing uh, offering the soul uh, as a spiritual sacrifice, okay, to Jesus. Uh, okay, anyway, uh, the, the theme today is uh, effective priesthood, okay, or effective uh, disciples of Jesus Christ. All right. So, and this is not the one. Sorry, can you go to the summary, the one summary, the one, uh, the slide for the summary. Okay. Uh, Okay, I'm not sharing, uh, I share it on the ebook 8, uh, but uh, the title is effective because, because if I were to share based on the text, uh, it will be very dry. Okay, very dry means because it's very descriptive. Uh. Of course, there are a lot of uh, important things, but I have to uh, bring it alive, make it uh, more uh, uh, practical for all of us, uh, because there's a contrast between the Old Testament priest and the New Testament priest in the uh, chapter 8 onwards. Uh, uh, let's look at it. There were priests. Okay, there were priests. There were priests for the law to offer sacrifice and gifts. And the new covenant is the new testament. Uh, the blood of the covenant is definitely better than the old with better promises. And Jesus Christ is the judge who decides who will inherit the eternal life or redemption only to those who he has called. Uh. So not everybody will be saved. Even the gospel in preacher, uh, and not everybody will be saved. Only those who he has called. For this reason, Christ is the mediator, the judge of a new covenant that those who are called, like those who are called, may receive promise, eternal inheritance. Now that he has died, as a ransom to set them free from the sins committed unto the first covenant. That's the law, right? Eh? This is a new covenant. So the point I'm trying to say is that Jesus Christ decides who will be saved. <laughs> so, and we're trying our best to meet souls like uh, the John family, right? Uh, a few of them that are going to be baptized. So these are uh, looking forward to the new souls that we are going to win. And the 50,000 tracks that we have uh, uh, we had had here, and we want you all to uh, join uh, join with us and to share the uh, the tracks and reach out to more, uh, so that we can uh, save more. So if we don't do evangelism and campaign, the church will not grow. In fact, the life of the church is evangelism. Without evangelism, the church will die. All right. So it's very important. That we reach as many. Of course, we can give track, maybe the 50,000, we need to bring in not so many. Right, maybe. We can bring in 10, it's super good. Huh? I tell you, we're out of 50,000. Right? So, it's that few huh? that will respond to Jesus Christ. But 
Nevertheless, we still have to do well. Okay, let's go to Veda. Just uh, adjust my slide. Yeah. Okay, let's go on to blood spring purification. Without shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Okay, there is uh, another version. Is uh, almost all things are uh, by the law purged with blood. Without shedding of blood, okay, there is no forgiveness. So in other words, uh, in the Old Testament, when the sins are uh, the yearly, the high priest, okay, have to go in and sacrifice, uh, make a sacrifice for his own sin, and then he, he, others that uh, he go and, and sacrifice, uh, offer the, the blood, uh, the sacrifices in uh, remission, it's also in redeem, redeem, redeeming the sins uh, of the, uh, the Israelites, right? So, and uh, they have to do it yearly, yeah? And without the sharing of blood, there is no forgiveness. Okay, that's one important principle. Huh? Okay, maybe we discuss here what is the significance here in practical application. Huh? Without sharing of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. And Jesus Christ is the perfect sacrifice, right? And once died, once and for all, to forgive all the sins and that the whole world become potential. So, what is the significance of the phrase? Huh? Without the sharing of blood, there is no remission of sin or forgiveness of sin. Any, anyone, any thoughts? It's an important concept uh, that we have to apply uh, in our life. Without sharing of blood, there is no remission of sin or forgiveness of sin. Okay, anyone, any thought? Anyone? What, how does that speak to you? Sacrifice. Okay, yes? That's it? Sacrifice. Sacrifice, yes. Can I elaborate more? Of course, you know the Bible is all about uh, sacrifice. Okay, elaborate more. Yeah, the thing is correct, but elaborate more. In the context without sharing of blood, there is no remission of sin. Anyone? Wanna try? Anyone? Or you find wanna try? Any idea about Emily? You wanna try? Yeah. Is it Esther? They pass to Esther. Pass to the way? No matter what. Right now, sacrifice, there is no remission of sin. What is a significant? What is? I mean, this is my thought. Uh, okay, it is better like, to see how it is. But I see it makes some sense. Uh. Anyone? Okay, actually, you have to Without remission, without shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. Uh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you have the theme of uh, Jesus' blood, huh? And then, so I want to add one. I'm still looking for something. So it said the blood of the mother is the seed 
of the church. The church is said that the blood of the martyr is the seed of the church. So that means that uh, if you die, uh, you show great love. Uh, chances are your love will touch others. It will be very effective. Even. So, so without greater love, uh, greater sacrifice, uh, without so-called not really death per se, uh, it's like really when you make a share and share you burn, right? You sacrifice for the soul, uh, okay, you cast God and go move and cast the line and save any soul. So that means great, great sacrifice to the point of death. Right now you have like martyrdom. Okay? That's so why the Bible says, call you to be witnesses, be martyrdom, and the gospel will be preached to all the nations. You want to be effective? How many want to be effective for God? They must lay down your life. But die for Jesus Christ. Okay, that is the, the yeah. principle. Okay? Die not physically la. Okay, you have to be physical then physical. But what train says that you will give your time. Don't only come on Saturday. Yeah. So come on Sunday. Come for self group. Come for discipleship. Come for evangelism. Thing. As many as you can do more. As you like your full time for that. Okay? So greater impact. And then God will show you more things. Alright? That's a secret to the growth of spiritual maturity. And we must uh, evaluate what we do. Okay? So that is the principle. Without sharing our blood, there is no forgiveness. There is no remission. Because Jesus Christ is a perfect sacrifice. And He is the example. Okay? So that's one uh, principle. Okay, now go to next one. And it is appointed oh. to make one to die. It's appointed to man once to die and then after that faith judgment. Huh? So when I when we reach out to Jonathan and before we thought they thought he would die. So but uh, when I went to pray for him, well, suddenly he can move no? Then before that he couldn't move. I then he know, accepted but... Jesus and we later on we baptized him. Huh? So if he were to die, he will go to heaven. Okay, but he did die. God preserved his life. So in other words, is uh, once a person died, when he's still on earth, there is still hope. Even the last week at the hospital, uh, the man has said 90 years old. Uh, you know, there was this man I went to reach him, uh, and then uh, I, I don't know, he, somebody told me somebody, somebody's father. So I went, and God was good. I prayed for him, you know, and he said to pray, you know, and I led him to Jesus Christ. And uh, we did uh, one way he died. I believe I right, truly believe that he goes to heaven. Even he goes to heaven. So after that, he judgment. So that means that uh, as long as a person can breathe, uh, you still have a chance. Okay, so don't condemn the person. But why he died? Uh, there was no no reversal, no non reversible. It's either you go up, you go down. Either it's eternal, definite. All right. So therefore, it is important that we. We uh, share the gospel with people, huh? and not until when they will die. Okay? So Christ was sacrificed once to take away the sins of many, and he will appear a second time not to bear the sin, but to bring salvation to those who are waiting for him. So the second coming of Jesus Christ is coming like uh, Enoch was righteous, he was raptured. Elijah was raptured. So similarly, when you walk righteous, you will be raptured. Okay, when he comes for the second time, alright, for those who are waiting for him. Okay, let's go to the next verse. Okay, let's go to the next verse. Okay, only Christ's sacrifice can make perfect those who draw near to God and worship him. It is a reality. Okay. Okay, that's an interesting question, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, how can we how can we be perfect? How can we be perfect? Okay, first thing is uh, how can we be perfect in life? Okay, that's another question, right? Based on this verse. How can we be perfect in life? Okay, uh, how can we be perfect? Reach a state of perfection or perfect in love and wisdom and all the. Huh? 
Sorry again? Okay, you don't have to watch it. Example. Okay, you have to read into the context of the book of Hebrew. Eh? Alright? So, how can you be perfect? It says, draw near to God in worship. Okay, specifically in the book of Hebrew, right? What the Hebrew say in chapter 10? Okay, then be more specific. How can we be perfect? How can you be perfect in Christ? How can you say, draw near to God? How do you draw near to God? Based on the book of Hebrew. What is the background of Hebrew and what is the writer trying to encourage us? Any, anyone? We understand how can we be perfect? It's uh, important that when I read it, you don't know me and what is interesting, yeah? And now uh, we just, yeah. Anyone? Okay, let me see. I, now I come to, okay. Alright. So how can we be perfect? The rules don't need to go. Okay, we can read this now when we come to that, huh? Then I ask you again this question. Now let's go on first. The law is only a shadow of the good things that are coming. Okay, the law points us to Jesus, the, to the coming Messiah. Okay, but the law is not the reality. Okay, what is reality? Okay, a lot of people live life and they don't live, they, they don't appreciate what is reality. Alright? The reality is when a person is hospital, Let's say Jonathan, uh, okay, the doctor say no medicine for him only. And that was the reality when he would die. That's the reality. But another time the doctor say you only get a few hours to leave. And then the family were crying, you know, outside the emergency ICU and uh, then the social worker was stand by really, waiting to counsel the family, you know. And then six of us, Jun Han, uh, who else? Zi Ying, my wife, myself, Kalai and Jun. Six of us, we are with them. The family only got a few, right? They, they got more than a family member. And were there comforting them. And that is reality, you know. The doctor said, a few hours, you know, he may die, you know. And that's where we were there. They thanked us for uh, watching the uh, uh, right times of future, right? And we were yeah. with, with them. Yeah. We were with them, huh? we watch, huh? uh, watch over the situation. And then we will pray in different month, next time to pray and all that. Huh? And what happened? The reality that he may die. But the fact was that he was he was alive. He alive, right? We pray, right? Then pray to God. Okay, the social worker there again. Alright. Alright, true. So anyway, the point was that reality. Remember reality. A soul died without Jesus go to hell. That's reality. So we are in the king business. We are living in reality. It's real. And as today I'm sharing God's word. Okay, the presence of God is here is a reality. And today you are here is a reality because you are here to hear God's word and learn from God's word and we all learn together. And this is a reality. Alright? And this is a reality. For this reason, he can never by the same sacrifices repeated endlessly. The law make you perfect, but the sacrifice repeated endlessly year after year make perfect those who draw near. Never, I say never, make perfect those who draw near to worship. All right? Okay. Can we have the okay, only Christ? Can we have this slide, please? God desires a body uh, prepared for him in service just like him uh, who offered a perfect sacrifice to God in service Jesus Christ. He offered his body. You know, uh, most important, uh, you know what the Bible says, most important is what? What God wants from us? What is most important as a Christian? What, what does God want from us? Most sacrifice. Important. Yeah, what kind of sacrifice? Like, what kind of sacrifice? Sacrifice also many types of. No. Uh, maybe a hand can help us. What does God desire of us? What is the best form of sacrifice? God desire. Wait. Anyone? Ali? Love. Uh, sacrifice of your type. type Sacrificial love. What is the most what is, what is the most important sacrifice that God is looking for? Start one letter. 
Mary, do you praise anyone? Uh huh. Do you want to help us? What's the most important sacrifice God is looking for? What do you think? What is God looking for? Most important. Anyone? Perfect sacrifice. Yeah, I don't know. Good, right? Okay, about it. Yes. Is the best obedient. obedient, yes. Okay. So these are these are okay, I'm looking for specific thing. What are the things basically actually they are saying well, based on the text here? Comprehending the text. What is the most important sacrifice? Wait. Anyone? Shut up the answer. How about Michelle and your Huh? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, uh, try. I'm looking for something. Willing. Huh? Willing. Willing. Uh. Yeah. Really? Okay, good try some more. Offered. Wait. Offered what? Offered. Offered. Huh? Offered. Offered a perfect sacrifice. Yeah, it's a good thing. We're looking for a specific thing in the verse. Desire. <laughs> no. Sacrifice must be a type. What is it? Service. Huh? Anyone? <laughs> Okay, let's try uh, Esther Pitt. What's the best sacrifice we're looking for? Uh, body. Yeah, what do you think? What's that say? Your self, the body to prepare. The body, yes. Go on your body, a living sacrifice. That is most. Okay, you see, we uh, desire a body, right? Prepare for the service to offer. Okay, let's go to the next one. It is possible for blood of boo of goats, right? To take away sin. When Christ came to the world, he says, any friend of faith in a blood of body. Right? Your body. God has prepared. God wants you. Okay? Want your availability and want you to serve him, to partner with him. Alright? Not just your gifts, your, your offering, your, your burnt offering, your sin offering. Okay? Burnt offering and sin offering, but you will not please. I say here and I to do I come to do the will of God with my body, right? He sacrificed, he died on the cross. Yes, sir? Sacrifice of you don't have but my years, he has been lifelong service for God. Okay, that's the Sami was praying, right? So God wants you to present your body a living, holy and perfect sacrifice. You, your body, that means you must be available to serve God. Okay? If you are not here, you cannot serve God. You must be available uh, for Saturday, uh, tuition ministry, discipleship, new service, and Sunday you come for topical Bible study, you come for uh, uh, Chinese service, English service, you come for cell group, prayer, after that you do evangelism, and Thursday you come for cell group. And this is all we have. And during your free time, you go for hospital visitation, pray for Jonathan. Okay, this is called your body. Present your body. A living sacrifice. More. More and more. Okay, next one. Roman Shah, offer your body as a living sacrifice. Okay, here. Okay. Okay, therefore, I you present your body a living sacrifice, holy, pleasing to you, and do not, okay, this is your proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern, okay, don't bother what the world is saying, is thinking. And, but, be transformed by the renewing of your mind, then you are able to test and approve what God's will is, is good, pleasing, and what? Perfect will, huh? so, Basically, the whole thing is to offer your bodies. That is interesting, huh? Okay, let's test your Bible knowledge, huh? Wait, why is the word therefore? What's the link? Why the word start with therefore? Why? Anyone? It is a very significant verse. It's a very powerful verse in Romans. Huh? Why is the word therefore? Anyone can understand the Roman text? The preceding text. 
Anyone can understand why the word is therefore? Why? Anyone? Want to try? If I need you with some uh, background knowledge for the book of Romans, why is the book therefore? Why the word therefore? That is the most important person in the whole book of Romans can say so. Uh, present your body a living sacrifice. Why you use the word therefore? Why the word therefore? Anyone? Wait. Anyone understand why the word therefore? Anyone want to try? Okay, give you a clue. You look at uh, Roman 11, right? The whole chapter, right? It talks about that. Then you come to the word therefore. What is chapter 11 all about? Roman chapter 11 is what is it all about? What is it all about? Anyone? Roman uh, 11, what is it all about? Anyone? Okay, Roman chapter 11, uh, what is it? Okay, especially the... Uh, okay, uh, anyone want to say before I just give you some important person and tell you what you were there for? Especially the doxology, uh, it's found in uh, Roman uh, 11, 23, uh, to 26. I was prior to that I talked about the further background. Okay, you can see here 33 says, Oh, the depths of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God. What is God talking about? Yeah. Right? And uh, how unsearchable the judgment and his power beyond tracing out. Who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Uh, next verse. Who has ever given to God, then God should be paid him, alright? We can never outgive God, right? And from Him, and through Him, and to Him are all things, and to Him be the glory forever. Amen. Then what happened? Therefore. Can you see that? You understand the scripture? You know why? The word therefore, that's not the doxology, eh? not about the blessing, yeah? Now, so many things are talking about. Roman chapter 11 is talking about the Third World War. The war is going to come to an end. The Great Tribulations. And he said, All this thing is ordained by God. He know that the world will come to an end. That's why he said, Everything. Okay? Everything. He said, from, from Him and through Him and to Him are all things. To Him be the glory. That means God is sovereign over everything, including the third world war. And then after the third, he says, since the world is going to come to zero one day, then he says, what? Therefore, maybe what? Therefore. Yeah. All of God, all of God, because the day will come, everything becomes ashes to zero. Do you understand? He said, how God, so why is he like? Right? He said, oh, the depth of the vision and wisdom and knowledge of God. He knows everything. Therefore, how many? Now you understood it, you want to give your life to Jesus. Okay, yes. Are you ready to give your life to Jesus? Oh, okay, good. You understand the word therefore? You know how powerful is the word therefore? <coughs> hey, okay, give another clue. Huh? You know there's another word therefore in uh, Matthew. Uh, 28, uh, 19, right? Hey. Wait, uh, the Matthew 28, 19. Uh, it says here. 19. 19 is the word therefore, right? Matthew 28, 19. Therefore. You know why the word therefore, right? Why? Hey. Matthew 28, 19, why is the word therefore there? For, for a reason. Ah, of course for a reason, yeah. that's why therefore. <laughs> okay, anyone? Uh -huh. You want to help us? Matthew 28, 19. Why the word therefore is there? Why, man? Why, why, why the writer say therefore? Well, therefore, what? The word to all nations. Why therefore? Why is the word therefore there? Why the word therefore? Hey, anyone? Thanks. I say something. You 
sewa Oi Anyone? Oke, okay, okay, so what do you read for us? Uh, verse uh, 18? Verse 18? Okay, so what do you read for us? Why? Anyone remember the scripture? Okay, uh, uh, can you read for us? Verse 18, verse 18, Matthew You know, inside here Can you read for us? Yeah, one verse only, very short verse Wait. Okay. Palm ready? Okay, don't break the way for you. Uh, verse 18. Okay. Matthew 18. Then Jesus came to First 18, right? Okay. 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 Uh, then, then Jesus came to them and said, Our authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Okay, okay, thanks. Say, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, Many you say God is in charge of heaven and on earth. You say, since I'm in charge of it, don't be afraid. Go and preach the gospel to all the nations. And so on. Huh? And I am with you always to the end of the world. You say, therefore. Ali, what is therefore? Before that, God says that you go, don't be afraid because God, don't worry, I'm in charge of the heaven and the earth. Go and do my work. That's why it's very important. Uh, therefore. You understand? You see how important the verse there? Therefore. Alright? So please uh, don't be afraid. Uh. Give your life to Jesus. Okay? Present your body a living sacrifice. Okay? Let's move on. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go. Luke 21. Uh, ah, this one you know, right? Uh, Okay, my question is why? Okay, why? remember last yesterday I talked to the you, right? Why these four verses and on the fifth verses on what you talked about? Therefore. The end of the world. Why Jesus put this, why the gospel human put these four verses before the world come to an end? Ten percent. Why? 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 Can you remember? No. You don't remember? Okay. Uh, Chen Xian, do you remember? Remember why uh, the, the, the writer of uh, Liu wrote these four verses before the world came to an end? Why? Uh, Esther was there. Did anyone want to try before I ask uh, Esther? How about Emily Commission? Why these four verses? Oh, I remember this one. Uh, hey, come, come, come. <laughs> Come, and you also remember, come. <laughs> come, what's the, what's the, why? Why these four verses before the world come to an end? Have you ever heard the answer? You don't know, okay, never mind. Wait, come, uh, uh, yeah? I think I recall, like, what they were doing before. Okay, never mind, you can remember that and then ask Ali first. Yes, Ali? What's the question? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the question is why there are these four verses before verse 5 on word to the end uh, is to the end of chapter is not about the third world. Why? We are trying to encourage you to sacrifice and put more time into the kingdom of God. Okay, good. You can hear her? Yes. Can you hear her? But say more. You're, you're almost there already. You see what you say is very good. Okay, some more. Add some more. There's no add more way to based on the text and eh? comprehending the text. What does she say is correct? What the words say that the old lady went to the widow went to the widow. She what? She put in two very small copper points. Okay? Yeah, because the widow was very poor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah.
she sacrificed more than the rich. Yeah, sacrifice more than the rich. More than what? She bet. She invested. More than all. Correct. All right. Yes. And what about the store? All these people give their gifts out their wealth, but she give out of the body and put in what? Put in what? What the word? What's the word there? Three letters. All. All. Remember? Because the world is going to come to an end, you give all, right? Hey, hey don't write the Bible structure in the way of minimum or you know, purpose, you know, you know, just like that, no? Because it said, what for I give so much money? What for you, 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 you keep the time to yourself, play game, come out and serve God, right? He said, she put in more than all, and she gave her all. Hey, that's wisdom, right? Hey, don't keep so much money. Huh? The Bible says you know, the more uh, you, know, you eat up the money, right? And the Bible says God is looking for your body, right? Come forward and serve God. Okay? Alright, beside the money. So this context is about money, right? The other context is all about the Roman chapter 12 talk about your body. Okay, it's very important. Okay? So please, huh? Food for thoughts, go back and think and pray. And basically, what I'm trying to say is that I don't come to the question of how can we be perfect, right? We come to that, huh? Okay, let's move on. Okay, you were taught. Okay, then my this is something extra. I just talk about the. Uh, okay, don't put on your old self, uh, the self concept, you know, talk about your deceitfulness. Put on the new self. We knew you had to take on a new self created like God in true righteousness and holiness. Okay, next one. Uh, okay, go back to true there, man. Huh? Break the love, huh? Jesus Christ present his body. And I come to do your will, my God, he died on the cross. And by that view, we have been made holy through all the sacrifice of Jesus Christ once and for all. So that means if we love others, we will impact life, we will help them to be saved. In the process, it can be over here. Yeah? Okay, let's uh, move on to the next one. Okay, next slide. By demonstrating love, we are transformed. Other receiving and touched by that love will also be transformed. This one. And of all this one, the Romans application, uh, you'll be set free from sin, become saved to righteousness. If you offer yourself to slave with purity, you gain addiction. Uh, yes. The sin, right? Never increasing wickedness, increasing more bondage, right? Never increasing bondage of slavery. Okay, you grow in wickedness, that was wickedness. Increase your sins, right? Okay, so remember, if you, if you indulge in it, you get greater bondage. The money you tie you around, worse, you get harder to set free, yeah? Next one. But if you offer yourself to speak with righteousness, then you become holy. Holy. Holiness. Alright? Holy, pure, and you are one slave. Right? If you are slave to sin, then you are outside the control of righteousness. Okay, you are not righteous. Then. Next one. And those things that you do, uh, slave to all these uh, wrong things, uh, sin and uh, result in death. But if you slave to God, if you do anything you want, you become holy. And then eternal life. For the wage of sin is death. But if you don't know God, you will and I come to do your will, my Father, and my name, okay. And Jesus Christ, being the priest, has offered for all one sacrifice for sin. He sat down on the right hand of God. <coughs> okay, not that he do, he does nothing. Huh? He's still in charge, he's still on the throne, right? <coughs> because the world hasn't come to an end. Okay, the Satan hasn't locked up yet. Alright, so he still got a job there to do it on the right hand of God. Huh? And now he gave us a job on earth to do. Okay, what is our job on them? Anyone? What is what call us to do? Now Jesus Christ died and he is on the right hand side of God huh? and he sent us to do his job. What is that job? What is our job now? If the wait, what is job? What is the given mission God given to us? Anyone in simple terms? Huh? Yes, any? What God wants us to do? Jesus Christ has finished his job already. He died on the cross on the right hand side. Then he gave us a job. What is our job? Save soul. We have to save soul. 
continue to build his church until the exact number that Jesus Christ come back, right? So that's the mission, right? Okay, next one. And since that time he waits for his enemy to be on the first two. Ever yet? Ever come to the third war yet? Ever come to the 1,000 year? Ever the 1,000 Satan will be, uh, will be thrown into the lake of fire, right? The bees and all like that. And for one sacrifice he has made perfect forever those who are made be holy. Okay, uh, forever those. They are not everybody will be saved, only those will be called uh, and will be made holy. Alright, today we are here. We are all here by God's grace, uh, by divine appointment. Okay, we enable them to see. That's why we treasure the time together. Next one. Why do we need to draw? Uh, let's come back to our question uh, in application. Uh, why do we need to draw near to God? How can we draw near to God in practical way as believers? But in the context of uh, Hebrew chapter ten. All right. Okay. Let's ask this question. Uh, let us show you some picture. Who picture me? Hey, how can we draw near to God? That's not the question, right? How can we draw near to God? Hey, what, okay, wait, before that, what is the purpose of drawing near to God? Uh, that's the first question. What is the purpose of drawing near to God? Get closer to Him. Tamo, throw answer. Get near to Him. What is the purpose of drawing near to God? That's not the first time you read, right? Which verse? Okay, let's go back to the previous verse. Go back to the previous verse. Okay, what did this verse say? Make perfect forever those who are being made perfect. <laughs> what is the purpose of going near to God? There's a connection between 14 and 15, right? What is the purpose of going near to God? So that we can... Huh? Right? Wait. Wait. Hey, why are we going near to God? There's a connection, right? What's the, what's, what's the purpose? Yeah, when we draw near to God, uh, it, God is to make us perfect. Because there are many Christians, uh, they are at home. They are say, I don't go to church, but I believe in Jesus. Alright? They say they are no. Remember, you know, Adam, I did this, this person is a reverend, no? And the day he sent me the boss, said the boss coming to your name. Alright? And he, the day we went to visit the deep track, right? Well, he kind of for us, no? He run. He, he, he looked for us at uh, the lower one floor, then he, he found us, then he gave us a booklet. Uh. But he said, he doesn't believe in, he said he was sitting at home, alone as a reverend. Alright? But is that a correct teaching? That's one, right? Okay? And, but, you know, there are many Christians, they don't go to church. There are many, you know, and there are many, say, you know, Christians, I don't go to church. I spoke with one sister, he said, my, my husband, uh, uh, don't go to church, right? Don't go to church. But is that drawing near to God? Hey, is that drawing near? Is that the biblical way of uh, according to Romans context? Is it going near to, to, to church? Is it uh, is it God's way of drawing near to God by being alone as a Christian? All right. But you never seen the context of the Hebrew and the Hebrew it says that many people are backsliding and going back to Judaism, going back to the world. All right. And this is this right here. No, 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 don't go back. Jesus is superior to the Old Testament to the angels. And it's perfect sacrifice. And then he said he needs to draw near to God, right? So that he can become perfect. Okay, the question is how can we draw near to God and become perfect? Okay, let's come to okay, let's go. Next one. Okay, next one. Okay, we have a great peace over the house of God. Let us draw near to God with a sincere heart, with a full assurance of faith, brings, having our heart sprinkled to cleanse us from the guilty conscience, the heavy body, wash his pure blood, and so on. Huh? Okay, next one. Ah, this one, how we can draw near to God, right? Okay, uh, somebody explain to us what uh, these few verses, uh, just give us uh, the main idea of this verse. Let us hold answering of the hope we profess or we probably let us consider how we may spur one another towards love and duty and not giving up together in the habit of some doing by running one another all the more as Jesus Christ is compared. Okay, tell me what the central idea. We draw near to God. What is the purpose of drawing near to God to make us perfect, right? How can we be perfect? Okay, when we are drawn near to God. Okay, what's the purpose? Why do we draw near to God in these two verses? For what purpose? 
You know why I chose Ellie? You know Ellie? You know she she is like the top one. The express. All right, she can express, huh? I bet she has a loud voice, right? They can hear, right? They speak, and everybody can hear. Okay, some more. Wait, anyone? Okay, I didn't call you, but you can answer. What's the central idea? Yes, that's the thing. Not meeting, not meeting together yeah. so that we can encourage each other, motivate yeah. each other yes. towards love and good things. Yeah, we, we cannot be alone, right? We must be together, right? What's the purpose? To motivate one another towards what? Love, love. Yeah. and good deeds. Okay, uh, let us not meeting up together. This is one for man. Uh, let's let's enjoy it. All the more. All the more, not less. Oh. It's more, not less. You see, some people say, oh, I have many years to stay, now I retire less and less until no more. <laughs> right? Wait, let's see our picture. I want to encourage you this. Let's see picture. Is it? Are you like this picture? Hey, you like this picture? Hey. This one.
and also when you say supper, right? <laughs> the makan, yeah, that okay. But last week, yeah, they don't want to go back, you know, 10 o'clock already. Well, some, uh, I mean, they don't go back. I say, well, maybe today you all can stay, stay there. Stay there, yeah. Uh. You all can go back and stay there. Is anyone you ask them to stay there? Because they don't go back, right? They can go to work, no? So they, they don't go back. Okay, please come and join us. All right, uh, can come every day if not. At least try to come two times, three times. At least one, right? But one, right? Four is better, lah. Okay. Okay, can you give me next slide, please? Okay, yeah, let's see. Uh, now it's twelve fifteen. Eh? So you suffer in prison. Okay. Okay. Uh, talking about these people suffer, no, you know. And when you go back to Judaism, you see these people suffer by joining them, alright? They, their property were confiscated, but they had a better and lasting possession, sorry? The eternal inheritance. So don't throw away your confidence in Jesus, you will be richly rewarded. You need to persevere and to press on. Huh? So that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. They say it's just a little while you suffer for this 3900 years. It's nothing but eternity, yeah? it's forever and ever. Alright? So God you will not delay. Next one. In just a little while he's coming, I think, but my righteous will be by faith. Righteous I mean you believe what God said and you act on it. Okay, in this case, come and and Father Jesus said, all the more, not all the less, huh? When you see Jesus Christ coming back, all the more. Okay, my question is uh, how do you spend your time seven days a week? Do you work all the seven days? No, right? Do you study student and study all seven days? But one day you study four to six hours are very good and excellent, right? You cannot possibly study 18 hours a day, right? Anyone study 18 hours a day? No, right? So set aside the time and come and join us. Alright? The same night, huh? Okay, just spend one night. Because, because otherwise either you watch TV or you play you watch video, right on. You, you whatever you do, I don't know, man. Huh? All right. Okay. But by the way, quite interesting. Yesterday, the other day, remember, I will give uh, one uh, Bible to Michelle, man. Huh? You say, you say, hey, I can read the Bible in one one day. Is it one day? I say, read one day. I say, it's not story book, no. I say, never mind. You go back and try to read the Bible in one day, lah. Next week, you come back, tell me how you read. How many pages? You say, you say, you say, you say, hey, I read two hundred pages. Because it's good already. You say, I make 400 pages. I said, I don't know I don't understand. I said, good try, good try. And then yesterday we did another Bible to the Jimmy Lester. I said, I don't know what I'm saying. 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 So you want to invest in more Bible, when you need to buy more Bible for the young Christians. Huh? So, and you're very happy to receive the Bible. Because you read know, one time, one week with 200 pages. Anyone have read 200 pages for one week? No, right? So, let's see how I just it. Okay, say, okay, we are not those who speak bad. I say, why don't you go back and then you'll be destroyed, you die. We are those who have faith and are saved. Next one? Yeah. Uh, okay, this one. Okay, just quickly, yeah. faith is a confidence in what we hope for and assurance of what we do not see. Yeah. That's what something about people who are not yeah. see them. Yeah. First, fourth three, by faith we understand that the universe was formed and God's come, I don't speak, the universe come into existence. Yeah. And by faith, Abel offered a better offering. He gave the best to God and God was happy, but came, gave the leftover of any how gifts, and then God was not present to kill his brother, he was gentle, right? So remember, God want the best offering. We okay, not the leftover, but just any how he or give the victor, right? Okay, one more. Verse six. And you know, that you know, he was righteous, he was rapture, right? Remember, he was taken away, right? He was rapture, right? And he was taken because he competed as one to please God. And lastly, without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to Him must be exist and be one rose to share. Uh, by the way, uh, in conclusion, I say this one is important, it's a new discovery. Uh. Okay, come. Uh, I'm going to finish. Uh, I just tell you that Jesus Christ, uh, 
is always high, is always for soul. Okay? Remember John the Baptist, I shared this morning here. Yeah? Uh, John the Baptist was killed in, uh, okay, uh, possibly in, uh, I think it's uh, Judea, the area, right? Area. But Jesus has, he, he did not stay there because he became also. So he even uh, called the disciples and he went to Galilee. But when he went to Galilee, he went to Samaria. He met a Samaritan woman, he preached to her again and stayed and then after that he preached to the Samaritan and then he stayed. So we can see that, okay, nothing is wasted. Okay, here is a, uh, everything God learned is not about me, so, right, the focus is through discipleship. Okay, the death of John called Jesus to lead Judea from Galilee, we are Samaria to save so. Alright. Okay, let's move on. And of course the, the background of Capernaum, uh, he uh, got tumbled then during the Old Testament or destroyed. You know, he was invaded by a Syrian uh, king, uh, uh Tilgal of Eliza in 732 BC, right? And then uh, God was gracious and then he became humbled. Okay, then but now uh, Judea in hostel, right? <coughs> so and uh, they were receptive, so he go there and preached the gospel of the it's a mixed culture uh, from all walks of, uh, from many countries, so called uh, from Arabia, Mesopotamia, and so on. And the gospel reaches from there, the gospel reaches the nation. Nothing is wasted, okay? And he maximizes every opportunity and use everything, every background of the country is very important. Nothing, he was saying, is not a journey. And the true disciples are, are the one who went with him to Jerusalem to see him die and support him. Uh, the crowd never do so. Alright, so please don't be like anymore. Okay, uh, God, you can see against God, you have a loving relationship. So in other words, is that don't be a crowd, okay? When Jesus Christ was dying and they did not follow him, but the eleven disciples followed him, he got to the betray him, uh, and uh, the Mary Magdalene and the uh, relatives, right, mother, and so on, and went, uh. So they went to extra uh, they traveled over, okay, maybe many miles just to support Jesus. Uh. And these are the true disciples, and these are not the crowd who won't look for him. Peace to her. Okay. Let's be identified with Jesus there and lay down your line. Okay, without shedding your blood, there's no new basis. So lay down your line for Jesus. Therefore, you send your body a little second time. Therefore, give all and more than the rest. Alright, before the world is coming to your end. So today the message is to encourage all of you. Alright. Uh, the best thing to do in life is lay down your line for Jesus. Honestly, how many be perfect? Come and have fellowship with us and learn and encourage. Spur one another in good deeds and encourage one another. Okay, that's one way, right? It's like a church and come for cell on Thursday, right? So we want to go from there and become a springboard. Okay, we bring it to different groups and pray and have fellowship with us. Alright? So when it's a self grow, we expect we need more people to help. Okay? Yeah. To help to buy things and all that. Huh? So there's no ministry. Okay, so meanwhile we are bringing the rain. When it grows larger, we need more hands and legs to help us. Alright, we will go in a serve. Alright, we take turns. Uh, okay, in conclusion, today basically what I'm trying to say is that present your body a living sacrifice. Okay, that is the best key that God wants from you. Therefore, present your body a living sacrifice and therefore go to the nations. God has all power. Never and Jesus said that we don't need more than the rest is because it, we need all the Jesus. Yeah. Is body as living sacrifice. Okay, okay today I uh, said, God, I want to present my body a living sacrifice. Okay, I will go and uh, do share the gospel. I will go and spur one another in, in love and in good deeds. Okay, we want to raise your hand and pray for you. Okay, praise God. Alright, praise God. Okay, come and I uh, will invite the musician.